Hi everyone. Uh, I've now attached the exterior fabric to the lining. Okay, so th this is where you start to, or when I first started doing zips, I, I, it wasn't until I had done this stage that I realized, okay, I get it, I get zips now. So we had, turn it that way. So we attached the lining to the zip with a very small seam allowance. Let me try and, there's my very small seam allowance. Then we sandwich the exterior fabric on top. So if you look at the side here, I've got my lining with one layer of stitching and then my exterior fabric facing with the um, wrong side facing up. And that's now stitched, but closer to the zip. Bear in mind we're doing this in terms of the bag, it's upside down at the moment. So all of the seams are all together, the lining seam and the exterior seam. So when I open that up and I flip it, so I'm flipping it that way now, we've now got the exterior fabric facing up, wrong sides together with the lining fabric, and then there's the lining fabric. And this is where it's important to press and why I never used to do it because I was lazy and then realized it's very important. When you press that all down and you're pressing the exterior fabric away, when you send the iron through, you're gonna press it away from the zip. And then on the lining fabric, you're doing the same. You press it away and it'll all start to pinch down. So it essentially, once it's all pressed, your lining fabric, let me see if I can pick this up for you. The lining and the exterior fabric will be pressed away and match up nice and neatly. It's all away from the zip, otherwise it's gonna interfere with when you open the zip. But if I hold it like that, once it's all pressed, at the moment that's not pressed, so that's all trying to fold back towards the zip. But once I've pressed this just with the iron, it'll all sit quite nicely. You can then top stitch and top stitching will just literally sandwich all of those seams on themselves so it's nice and flat and it gives a decorative stitch as well. Now you can see how that's gonna look. So when I do the same to this side, you're then gonna have, once that's all stitched in place, that is what the bag will then look like. If I then undo the zip, what you're going to have is this is the inside of the zip. And bear in mind, there's going to be another piece behind it so that you then have a, a zip pocket without seeing any seams because you've sandwiched those seams all in there.